Hi, my name is Erin Van Dusen. I'm a carrier of Hemophilia B. I believe Code Rouge is such an important conference because there is still such a need for education and awareness around women in bleeding disorders. I want to share one example of why this conference is so necessary. In 2019, I was pregnant with my first child, a male baby. My healthcare providers were concerned because, of course, there was a 50% chance he would be a bleeder. Specific precautions were put in place for labor and delivery. Fast forward to 2021, when I was pregnant with my second child, a female baby. No discussions of precautions happened. I had to request that the same precautions be put in place as if I was having a male baby. I also asked that factor and DNA testing be conducted as soon as possible after delivery. After stating the reasons why I wanted DNA testing, I had an intern say to me, well, it's okay if she does get the gene though, right? Because she'll be just a carrier. There it was again, that term that minimizes and devalues my experience as just a carrier. I couldn't help it and I said, well, no, actually. Then I went on to explain, my sister and myself both have lower factor levels and have required factor replacement. I also shared that research shows carriers of hemophilia can have normal factor levels but still experience abnormal bleeding. The intern was very open to the discussion and even thanked me afterwards for sharing. So as you can see, there is still a lot more work to do with education and awareness. I want to thank all of the healthcare professionals that are working towards the goal of improving the life of women with bleeding disorders. We appreciate you and we need you. Research gives us patients a leg to stand on when advocating for our own care and for the care of our daughters. So, a sincere thank you.